The day that we closed and stood in the doorway saying, what did we do and <laughs> what's going to happen? Uh, we, there were two symbolic things that happened that have encouraged us along the way. And one was finding out about the Copper Beach. We looked it up and we saw that the mythology of the Copper Beach meant the keeper of ancient learning but using it to forge new ideas. And that really made us feel like we made the right choice because that Copper Beach, for anyone who's seen it, is really the soul of the house. Well, first, coming down a road that I go up and down all the time and never knowing that there was this op magical opening with a canopy of trees you know, leading to this special space and looking at this gorgeous beech tree you know, just, just set, the, set the tone. It's like a, a canopy over uh, a magical space. And you can't get it at a museum and you can't get it at a concert where there's thousands of people and I think that's what makes this place so special. It's in the range of artists from up and coming teenagers to, you know, world renowned uh, pianists, it, um, it was just such a full experience and at, at the end of it all just left feeling very uh, centered. It's not just a place where you come and show work. It's a place where you talk to your friends and, and you, um, you get something going. You get energies flowing. Excitement and like you don't know what you're going to come across. Like, like Frederick scrubbing the stairs when, and the next thing you do you hear him playing some concert. You know, it's like literally five minutes apart. And I don't feel like I'm just working for beach. I'm just I just feel like I'm a guest. I'm invited to show my, my art, to show my talent. Well, being an artist in residence in Beechwood has been, there's a few different things I have really loved about it. And, you know, one is just being able to, you know, have a combination of having some really intensive studio time and also having the energy of a gallery where, you know, there's this expectancy and there's, you know, this event that's going to happen and, you know, the work is going to be shown and it's, you know, it all happens in, in one big crucible. It's like a collaboration between, um, between me and the place and the people that are here. Both of us, as we've worked together, we're both informing each other about our work and learning something new and doing something that's a little bit outside of our, what we normally think and make and make something grander for it. You have to come to Beechwood. Like, you, you have to be a resident here. You shouldn't turn it down under any circumstances. <laughs> I promise you, you come out of here, you're going to remember something, something exceptional from this place. My association with Beechwood is, has changed my life for the better. I'd like to read uh, from a page from my new book, What If? What if Janine and Frederick had never met? What if they had never found this wonderful house? What if they had never conceived Beechwood? as an amazing venue for the arts to be created, valued, and experienced? What if every community was fortunate enough to have a Beechwood of their own?